question number one. Not much to him, getting a lot of nibbles. Had to set my bait clickers here because it's really shallow. Of course, my biggest concern right now is what's behind me. I think this is sliding south of me, but um, there's plenty of on the edges to worry me. So I'm staying close to shore right here. It's just behind the camera. So worst come to worst, I can head for the bulkhead and the shore over there, but hopefully this will be gone in the next 15 minutes. So, but I'm not skunked. All right, so this has been an interesting couple minutes. I'm getting rained on, had the uh, bag over the camera, got hooked into a nice blue here. I do not have my measuring board, but he looks like he's in that you know, 17, 18 inch range. Got tangled up on my other line. I've got all kinds of issues going on here, but um, fish are starting to bite if I can just avoid this rain. So. That's the second fish in the boat. I've got thunder kind of all around me. I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to pass. But uh, until then, hopefully I can catch some fish. So there we go. Not bad. All right, get out of here. Good one here. Let me get that bag off so we can actually get this fish in. Yeah, that's a good fish. He's hooked good too. Well, I tell you, that bait clicker, when it's hooked up right and you let him run, boy, it can really bury that hook. This is a good solid fish. Still. Come here. There we go. Okay, I left my needle nose pliers in my other bag, my, my bank fishing bag. And I forgot to get them. So. There we go. I'm just going to have to make do. I have another pair, but they are, they are not that good of quality. So there's another good solid fish put down in the 17, 18 inch range. Good sized fish. So I'm just taking this, this wind that's coming in after these, these storms have gone through, kind of coming out of the north, northwest, and it's blowing me right towards the spot that I usually like to fish. Um, so I'm kind of reverse drifting through the area that I normally drift home through, um, except now I'm drifting to my fishing spot. So um, it's not frequent, but the fish are of good size. So that's the third one today. Let's see if we can get this back in and get some more. Hey everybody, this is Jason with Lone Star Catfish. Um, it seems like it's been a long time since I put a video together. Um, and I think it has been a long time. Um, there's been lots of reasons for that. Uh, first is you know the fishing just hasn't been real good for me, um, and, you know, and second is the, you know the stay home the stay home orders um, you know just around the country, um, you know they haven't physically affected me uh, thankfully, uh, nor my family we're all safe and healthy but just sort of changed the priorities uh, and, and, and what I decide to uh, do with my time the spare time that I get you know I've spent more time at home, uh, more family time more things around the house. Um, but I did have some time today to get out. It, it looked like it was a nice day and it started as a nice day. And of course, as soon as I got on the water, it clouded up. We had a huge storm roll just south of us. 
and I mean just south, like it was on the other shore of the lake, um, and uh, I was just getting the kayak in the water and sort of stayed close to shore for a bit, let that pass. Got rained on a little bit, uh, kept my head down uh, with some lightning in the area, uh, but, but otherwise uh, escaped unscathed. Um, I've caught a few fish already, uh, three decent sized fish, two, two good sized, one okay. Um, I'm seeing a lot of gar um, on the surface and just from some of the bites that I'm getting look like down below as well. Um, I've made my way down here to my normal spot. Uh, the wind's kind of coming straight out of the north so I'll have to paddle back into it um, on the way back. I kind of did a drift, like the reverse drift that I normally do home, I kind of did on the way down here. Uh, that's actually where I caught those few fish. Um, so I'm going to sit here a little while longer, maybe work this bank um, and see what I can't find. There is lots of activity, but like I said, I think it's a lot of gar activity. Um, haven't gotten any what I would consider good catfish bites right here in this spot. Um, but like I said, we'll work up and down the shore a little bit, but I don't want to get too far because uh, like I said, that wind is blowing straight out of the north, which means that's the headwind for me going back home. Um, so I've got about another two and a half, maybe three hours uh, that I want to spend out here and then I want to get myself back to shore uh, and back home. So. Um, like I said, it's been a while. It's good to be back out here. It's good to sort of spend some time putting the video together again. Hopefully, I'll have more than a couple fish that I've already caught to show you. Um, but let's, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and get back to it. Well, he was playing with that and playing with that. Finally decided to go ahead and give him a yank. Little channel cat. Channels and gar, I think that's what's bugging me here. Get out of here. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. Oh, just in the middle of the gambler there. Finally got some action. Not much to him, but. channel cat. Not bad as far as eating fish go. So that right there is caught on Let me grab one here and I'll show you. So these fiber nuggets right here uh, from Team Catfish. I, I've really found these to be uh, good baits. Now they do tend to grab channel cat, but I've caught plenty of blues on them as well and hooked into some actually pretty big blues. Um, you know, what I like is, you know, they're just sort of readily available. You don't have to refrigerate them. I can just kind of keep them with me at all time. And it just gives me another bait to throw out. You know, I've got shad on both of these other lines. They've, they've hardly been touched for an hour. Um, you know, and that fiber nugget back there is, you know, it's getting pecked on and it's caught a couple fish. Um, so, like I said, I ha I've had some days where this was the only bait that I used and I, I caught a dozen fish. So, like I said, I, I, I like having this. I don't think it's a world beater, um, but it, it allows you to catch some fish and give you some other options without, uh, you know, kind of the, the you know, finding, catching, cutting up shad. Um, as well as, you know, with some of the other dip baits, you know, just, just some of the nastiness. These stay pretty dry. I mean, once you get them wet, they get a little nasty, but you get them out of the bag and they're dry. You can put them on with just minimal uh, mess on your hand, just a nice little towel here, brush it off, and you're good. Um, so, and it stays on the hook really well. Once it gets wet, it, it does, it kind of firms up around the hook. So, 
Um, you know, I, I've been really happy with it. I've got two bags, uh, one in the boat and one here in the kayak. Um, and I try to keep them with me at all times, like I said, just to, just to mix it up. So got one on my powered drift here back to the house. Once I got up here to the north end, that wind was blocked by the trees you see behind me. So I was able to use my backwater paddle here to, to do a slow drift here along the bulkhead, along the community. Got a uh, slip cork back out behind the kayak. I really just had the bait clicker on. Um, just waiting for a loud noise and that's what we just heard. So, so it's not bad. Not a bad little blue cat. I'd eat it, but not today. Today he gets to go back with the free meal. Right, y'all, so that's going to about do it for me. Um, I've kind of worked myself all the way back to my landing point here. I'm just, uh, you know, less than 100 yards away. I'm going to just kind of slowly paddle my way back up there, see if I can't, uh, you know, pick up one or two more as I run through this little channel right here. Uh, but it sure was nice to get back out. Um, you know, my shoulders and my uh, rear end uh, were reminded uh, that, you know, I haven't been out here in a while because they are, they are burning. Uh, so I'm going to have to go home and uh, sit in a nice comfy chair and relax for a while. So, uh, but that's all I got. It wasn't super exciting, but I'm back. I'm here. I'm fishing. And uh, hopefully I can uh, start getting back out here, you know, if not every week, at, le at least every other week, um, you know, until things kind of calm down. So until then, we'll see you. Oh baby, too much attention, not enough attention, but you're gonna be, you better